and I will be with you throughout this formal part of this orientation program for trimester 2017. Now, I would like to request our Honorable Chief Guest, His Excellency, Bishop Thintinias Gomez, CSC, and Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Father Patrick Daniel Gaffney, CSC, to host the national flag. <laughs> As 
fabulous public. Mr. Kamal Kovic. Ms. Nazma Akhtar. Mr. Helen John Paul Gomez. Mrs. Moshmi Hawk. Mr. Azia Hossein. Mohamed Umar Farooq Dhiya. Mr. Surajit Kumar Mondo. Mrs. Taz Tanzia Rahman. Ms. Afrista Birgis, now the English faculty for the LMS Pereira, meet myself. For the Franklin Lillian, for the Tom McCormick, as a Monido Saman, Sheikh Rizwan Shihab, Dilip Kumar Sharkar. Jamil Hussain, Nansa Sultana, and Sami Hussain Chishti, his nephew died yesterday, so he went to village.
First of all, on behalf of all the faculty members, I would like to express our gratitude to Father Benjamin Foster C.C. for his immense contributions into the NDUB family. Notre Dame University Bangladesh took birth in the year 2013, and under, the appropriate, under his appropriate guidance and supervision, it started putting its feet on the ground, and, and now it has learned to work. But it has a long way to go. NDUB owes every success it has achieved so far to Father Benjamin Costa. We deeply respect him for his immense humility and simplicity. He will be greatly missed by all of us. On behalf of all the faculty members of NDUB, once again, I thank him for being a man who will always remain as an inspiration to many of us. On behalf of all the faculty members, I would also like to welcome Father Patrick Daniel Gaffney CC as the first Vice Chancellor of Notre Dame University, Bangladesh. We are delighted to have you among us, Father. You have an outstanding record as a teacher, scholar, and an administrator. We are looking forward to a future when under your able guidance and you be will not only become one of the renowned universities, but each of his students will make meaningful contributions in the society and at large in this world. Your leadership will help the students to find out for themselves a bigger purpose for their lives and make differences. Once again, on behalf of all the teachers, I welcome you as the leader of this institution and we look forward to working with you and cooperate with you whenever you will need our assistance. And now, dear students of fall trimester 2017, on behalf of all the faculty members, I would like to thank you for choosing Notre Dame University as your institution for higher studies. While you are here, you will find ample opportunities to learn new things acquire new knowledge, develop new skills, and enhance your personal attributes in profound ways which will equip you for the future after university. At the, same, at the same time, you will make new friends who will become friends for life, with whom you will share memories of NDUB for many years to come. As you will take the journey towards learning, uh, towards turning your dreams into reality, you will find us, your teachers beside you, who will always support you in your endeavors to succeed. Here, you will find a group of bright, energetic, dedicated teachers who are fully committed to help the students according to their needs. There is no more important responsibility for any of us as members of the faculty than teaching you and working with you. But you have to remember that it is you who have come with dreams and And after that the final came, the final, final is another thing which is a two hour examination and uh, it is the hardest part I think. I'm just fearing you because if you can't fear, uh, you won't be succeeding in your life. Okay, and as our honorable faculty say, don't kill your time. All of our teachers are so much cooperative and they're the most experienced teacher I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so give a clap for them. Uh, then everything. We didn't, as the first best student, I didn't got any senior person of mine. There were always the teachers who supported us, who lead us to the optimum position. And that's all in the time being. Thank you so much. And I hope you'll be the best because you have to do many things from your position. Thank you. Thank you, Osman. Now it's time to be delighted by the words of Muhammad Rizal Islam, ID 1730 on behalf of the new students. I'm requesting him to come up on the stage and share his feelings with us. It shows that our university is focusing on important human values, such as the pursuit of truth. Our university is small, so we can be familiar. 
finally, I want to say that we are really extraordinary and we try to make our university proud of us. And best wishes to all my new friends. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm glad to be here on behalf of the new students. I'm Catherine Miriam Costa, a new student of this university. When I sat here for admission test, I felt very nervous. But when I heard that I had passed the test and gotten the chance for admission here, I felt proud of God. I am a student of this university. I am very much glad and happy to have admission in the English department. I completed my schoolhood from St. Francis Xavier's Girls High School and College and just happily completed HSC from Holy Cross College. Firstly, I am very much thankful to Almighty God who has given me this opportunity. And secondly, I am grateful to the authority of Notre Dame University, Bangladesh. In my childhood, I always dreamed that I would be an English teacher like my mom. I always kept my dream in my heart and prepared myself day by day if I get any opportunity so that I will fulfill my desire from a well-reported and reported university in Dhaka. When I heard about Notre Dame University, Bangladesh, I prepared my mind to complete my education from this university. I want to study here for this education system, this discipline, these rules and regulations, and this university's motto. The competence to see and the courage to act. I am very much thankful to all. Thank you very much. Good afternoon to you all. I am Father Lawrence, I am the CSC, Doctor of the University. And on this very special occasion, I also welcome the precious of this trimester, 2017. And I would like to introduce the student conduct of this university. Each of the students will be given a copy of the student code of conduct, but I want to share with you the gist of it. Expectations of NDUB. NDUB expects the students to be of the highest integrity, honesty, and good behavior. It also expects of you loyalty to it and respect for the administration, faculty, staff, and fellow students. Students will wear dress that is appropriate in the cultural context of Bangladesh. There will be no loud and rowdy behavior, no screaming or shouting on campus. Students will be on time for classes. Active involvement in politics is forbidden. There must be no teaching or bothering of female students. Student ID cards will be worn visibly at all times on campus. Smoking, drugs, alcohol are strictly prohibited on campus. Trash must be dropped in the waste baskets and not to be thrown on campus. Students will take care of their own mobiles, laptops, and other valuables, and the university will not be responsible for their losses. Students who cause any damage to any property of the university, the responsible students will be asked to compensate it proportionately. Prohibited conduct on campus, cheating on classwork and examinations is considered as academic misconduct. Any improper or unwelcome physical contact with another person, including touching and use of language with sexual implications or harassment, is considered as sexual harassment. Use of dangerous weapons or devices, such as guns and knives, are never permitted on campus. Causing fear in anybody is strictly prohibited. Making false reports or accusations about others to university officials is also prohibited. Pictures and videos 
and not to be taken of anyone without the person's knowledge and permission. Discipline matters. Any violations of the code of conduct will be taken seriously. Disciplinary matters will be dealt with by the proctor, by me, if necessary, with the assistance of two other proctorial committee members, Gopur Sir, head of the Department of Law, and Sister Shalom Kapani CC, Assistant Director of Student Affairs. With a big round of applause, a person who carries a general soul and has been working for humanity, working for autistic children, and directly involves with so many holy activities. Our chief guest, His Excellency Bishop Fusionis Gomez, CSA, Emeritus, 